Hey, thank you for coming by Tori Magoo 44. It is 2018. Can you believe it? I can't. I really can't. I know I say it all the time, but time marches on and it's just amazing. It really is. It's 2018. That means I've been out of Scientology for 18 years. Okay, so one of the things I want to go over for the New Year resolution, a lot of people in the New Year want to lose some weight. And so I'm just going to tell you a little bit about my story. I have before, but for any new people, it's kind of cool. Anyway, I was in Scientology for 30 years. And during that time, I gained a lot of weight. I was already up. Well, no, I got in when I was 22. So I was very, very thin when I was 22. And I ended up 100 pounds overweight while I was in, weight, while I was in Scientology. And they wouldn't help me at all. I got to the second to the top. They would not help me. They just kept saying, okay, continue. Okay, continue. I kept saying, this doesn't work. You know, it's not working. And I'm 100 pounds overweight. If for people who are thinner, go to the store, get a 10-pound bag of potatoes and carry it around the store for like 10 minutes. And that that's 100 pounds. That's how it feels. Get 40 pounds. Just take four 10-pound bags of potatoes and carry that around. I mean, you'll see it's... It's like amazing. It's it's huge. And for anyone who is that much overweight, I'm here to tell you, you can absolutely 100% lose it. And this is my success story. I lost, I was in the cult. I realized they're not going to help me. They're not. You know, I kept asking them, they wouldn't. So I finally joined Weight Watchers because I thought I need some help. I'd been on diets for a hundred years, it felt like. You know, dieting, losing the weight, gaining it back, dieting, losing the weight, gaining it back, you know, just up, 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 up. And I finally realized I don't need a diet. I need to learn how to eat. I don't know how to go to sleep at night for one night feeling peaceful, like I had a good day. I ate what I should have eaten. There you go. I didn't know. I was always on a diet or I was overeating. On a diet, overeating. So I checked myself into Weight Watchers. And the first thing I did, they said, those people are at goal, meaning they're, they've lost all the weight they want to leave, and now they just have to maintain. So, and it's free once you're at goal. So I went over to them and I said, okay, what do you guys do that, to be at goal, to stay at goal? And they said, we come every single week. And I do. I, have, I lost 100 pounds in 2010. I reached goal. And I go every Thursday night. You'll see me. I mean, once in a while, I might skip it because I'm going somewhere with one of my friends or something like that. But generally speaking, I don't. And they know it. You know, it's like Thursday night is my Weight Watcher night. That's just the way it is. So Flora was the person who helped me with the first, you know, losing the 100 pounds originally. And one of the things she would say over and over is if you don't check in, you check out. Now, what does this have to do with the cult at all? Well, A... They wouldn't help me. B, this is a really interesting part of it. The higher up you get in Scientology, people always say, well, what do they believe? Well, A, they don't believe anything. Hubbard said it's a science of the mind, right? But then when that didn't work, he changed to these top secret levels. It doesn't work either. Okay, so as the higher up you get, the, you have to keep doing what's called sack checking, where they're checking to see if you've done any bad deeds, right? And you have to pay for it. <clears throat> and I think it's $7,000 every 12 and a half hours, which sounds like a lot of, of time, but it goes by pretty quickly when you're also considering other these other beings that you're supposedly auditing and helping and, you know, moving away from you and stuff like that. So, it's expensive. So after a while, for me, I just stopped thinking. I thought, I'm just not going to think about this. I'm not going to think about that. Because if you think about it, then you go to back to flag. We had to go twice a year. And they'd say, you know, have you done this? Have you done that? You know, and it'd be like, Ugh, and something would read. And then we'd have to take it up. And I'm, I'm paying for all this, right? So after a while, you're, you're not thinking at all. And they were sort of making me wrong for thinking at all. You know, my last CS, which is their program, last thing I was supposed to do was see if you can walk down the street and not think about your case, right? And all that was was thinking, right? And I, I got to like the third driveway and I just stood out in the street and went, that's it. I am done. I am done with auditing, not just for this lifetime, but for lifetime after lifetime after lifetime, because that's what Hubbard runs. You know, you're not only going to be screwed up for this lifetime, but all these other lifetimes, right? So I was like, done, finished, 
Go wherever you want to go, do whatever you want to do, but I am not going to be able to help you. I'm done with this, right? Okay, so there you go on that. That was in 1997 that I finally went enough. But now, in, I think it was right around 99, I joined Weight Watchers. And Flora said, have a committee meeting. And I'm like, have a committee meeting? What does she mean by that? And I'm kind of sitting in this group and she's like, well, you know, you go into the store. Should I get a donut? Should I get some vegetables? Donut, vegetables. All right, I'll get the vegetables, right? That's a committee meeting. And I thought, that's all I'm doing in Scientology is, you know, that's all I was ever doing was, should I, do I want to do this or that, right? But they were like, that's your case. It's not your case. It's you trying to decide something, right? Whatever it is. And it was so monumental for me as far as, oh my God, this is someone saying, do what you do, only do it better. Make a better decision. Make a better choice. And I thought, wow, it really, really was great. So there was that. That was one connection. The other thing is that she said, if you don't check in, you check out. Very true for me. As soon as I would go off of any kind of diet that I was on, I was like, all right, I've already gone off my diet. I might as well go to McDonald's, go get some ice cream, do this. <laughs> it was like awful. I mean, I was just awful at overeating. It really was bad news. And you get very out of control and, it, and then you feel really bad. So you might as well eat some more, right? Because you're already screwed up. It, it's really insidious. So I realized I need help. I need assistance. I, I can't do this by myself. And that's pretty true for probably most people that are overweight. It's very, very difficult to do it and maintain it all by yourself. So I say, you know, join your Weight Watchers. Try it out. You know, that now they've got all these zero points. They didn't have any zero points when I lost my 100 pounds. Now they have zero, all, almost, I think all fruits and vegetables are zero points. So that's a ton of stuff you can eat there that you used to have to count for points because you get so many daily points a, a day. Now they've added all kinds of stuff, non-fat, um, plain yogurt. You can put, you know, fruit in it. It's the delicious breakfast. You can all um, white chicken, white turkey is zero points, beans, zero points, eggs, zero points. You know, it's just, they have a, a list of a hundred things. You can type in, in Google, you know, Weight Watchers zero points and see what it is. But it's, it's pretty exciting. That's why you see Oprah on there going, hey, we're having the, I forget what she calls the freestyle, you know, tacos or something, because, you know, you can have these little things and they're, they're great and they're zero points. I mean, you might have to count a point for a point or two for the taco, but the rest of it is all free now. It's really, it's really pretty cool. So anyway, I, that's what I wanted to just share with you. If you are struggling with weight, please come, come on over. Come Thursday night. If you're here in Burbank or LA, come to the Burbank meeting. It's over on Alameda. And uh, I, it's uh, 5.30. They start weighing people in. And the meeting starts at 6. And it's 6 to 7. That's it. You know, then you're done for the week and you're back going. It's really great. So anyway, there you go. That's my first video of 2008 for anyone. I know lots and lots of people have weight problems and are kind of trying to do something. And I really hope you come join Weight Watchers and start winning. You know, it's it feels fantastic. It just feels great to actually have a little program and have something to follow and come meet with friends and, you know, meet new people. It's fun. It's good. All right, so there you go. I wish you all a happy, happy 2018, whatever you are doing. I love you, and I can't thank you enough for all of your support. It's just been fantastic for me. So thank you very much, and I hope you're having a great beginning to the new year. All right, there you go. I love you. Bye-bye.